Good morning everyone! I am Shirlene De La Hermosa and my partner is Janine Branzuela and now we are going to discuss the Levy-Gotsky Social Cultural Theory and its fundamental principles of social cultural perspective of learning. We already in the topic 3, historical, social cultural, philosophical, and theoretical foundations. The objective for today is to discuss the Vygotsky social cultural theory. Second, explain the fundamental principles of social cultural and perspectives on learning. Now, let's define these following terms. The first word is history. What is history? History is the study of past events and particularly in human affairs. History is the study of change over time and it covers all aspects of human society. This includes the political, social, economic, scientific, technological, medical, cultural, intellectual, religious, and military developments. Now, what is the importance of studying history? Studying history helps us understand how events in the past made things the way they are today. With the lessons from the past, we not only learn about ourselves and how we came to be, but also develop the ability to avoid mistakes and create better paths for our societies. According to Peter and Turns, there are two importance of studying history. First, history helps us to understand people and society. Second, history helps us understand change and how the society we live in came to be. The second word is society and culture. Society refers to a group of people living together in a community with a common traditions, interests, and institutions. Culture refers to the norms and social behavior found in society such as customs, habits, beliefs, and laws. So how society and culture affect inclusion? Society and culture is being part of life of a person which can affect or influence them. When a society and culture develops and implement inclusion in the society, of course, a person would learn to practice inclusion. The third word is philosophy. The term philosophy means love of wisdom. In a broad sense, philosophy is an activity which people undertake when they seek to understand fundamental truths about themselves, the world in which they live, and their relationship to the world and to each other. Philosophy is the study of existence, knowledge, values, reason, and mind of, and language. In other words, it's academic exploration of life's big question. It is a discipline that can be applied to any field or subject and it helps to develop critical thinking skills. What is theory? A theory is carefully thought out explanation for observation of natural world that has been constructed using the scientific method and which brings together many facts and hypotheses. Theory assists researchers and teachers to critically reflect on education policy and classroom practice in attempting to ensure best education process. Theory assists researchers which is clear understanding of a research problem. Learning theories are important because they allow teachers to understand how their students to learn. Through using different learning methods, teachers can develop more comprehensive learning strategies and help students find success in education. What is sociocultural? Sociocultural is the combining social and cultural factors. Examples of sociocultural factors of a positive nature are a strong sense of family and community support and mentorship. Good education and health care, availability of recre recreational facilities, and exposure to the arts. Now, who is Lee Vygotsky? Lee Vygotsky was a seminal Russian psychologist best known for his social cultural theory. Lee Vygotsky was born on November 17, 1896, in Ursha, a city in the Western Russian Empire. In 1917, he earned a law degree at Moscow State University, where he studied a range of topics including sociology, linguistics, psychology, and philosophy. 
Vygotsky was a prophetic writer, publishing six books in psychology in 10 years. His interests were diverse but often centered on child development, education, the psychology of art, the language development. He developed several important theories about the way children learn and grow within the culture and society. And now let's talk about the Lee Vygotsky social cultural theory. So this social cultural theory focuses on which children's cognitive development is influenced by the culture in which they are reared and the people who teach them. Ibig sabihin ang isang children's cognitive development and it, and its growth are na influenceahan ito ng kultura ng mga sa kanyang kapeligiran na kung saan ay natututo sila mula sa kanyang paglaki natututunan nila ang mga kultura nila sa kanilang komunidad at nadadala nila ito mula sa kanilang paglaki Livigotsky also advocated what is known as a full inclusion model. So this inclusion model is the concept of having the inclusion in education. Vygotsky expresses firm conviction that special needs education should not be diminished version of regular education but speedily designed setting where the entire staff of the school are able to exclusively serve the individual needs of uh, students with disability, special needs, need special training teachers, and a differentiated curriculum. Ibig sabihin ay nais parating ni, Vigo, ni Vygotsky na ang special education ay hindi lamang baliwalain o bawasan sa mga paaralan kundi ay bigyan ito ng pansin at mas implementa ito at mapadaling maaksyonan ito sa mga paaralan upang mas mabigyan ng atensyon at mat matugunan ang mga pangangailangan ng mga bata lalo lalo na yung mga kin kinakailangan ng mga special needs. The Vygotsky also suggested that human development results from a dynamic interaction between individuals and society. So, through this interaction, children learn gradually and continuously from their parents and teachers. However, this learning varies from one culture to the next. It's important to note that Livigotsky theory emphasizes the dynamic nature of this interaction. Society does not just impact people, but also people affect their society. Meaning to say that hindi lamang ang society ang nakaka sa mga tao, kundi ang mga tao rin ang nakaka sa kanyang society. Dahil marami naman talagang mga tao ang nakakabuo ng mga iba't ibang halim mga iba't ibang paniniwala, mga iba't ibang mga iba't ibang beliefs, mga iba't ibang mga values na kung saan ay nag nagagawa nila ito sa kanilang komunidad at naaapektuhan ng buong komunidad. Halimbawa na lamang ng mga norms, mga kakaibang norms at ang mga cultural values na pinaniniwalaan nila, pati nila ang mga beliefs at higit sa lahat ang wikang ginagamit nila. Ang mga ito, ang mga ito ay nagiging pagkakakilanlan sa isang society kaya natatawag na hindi lamang ang society ang nakaka impact sa mga tao kundi ang mga tao rin ang nakaka-affect sa society. Kung ating susuriing mabuti yung mga bata ay natututunan nila yung mga itinuturo ng kanila mga magulang mula sa kanilang pagkabata at nadadala nila nito sa kanilang paglaki. Halimbawa na lamang kung tuturo natin ng isang bata na maging disiplina, maging mabait o mga pagmano sa nakakatanda ay ang mga values na ito ay nadadala niya sa kanyang paglaki at maging ang sa uh, nagagamit niya ito habang nakakapag-interaction ng mga iba't ibang tao sa kanyang paligid. Good morning everyone. I am Janine Wopan Brancella and my partner for this report is Miss Sherlyn Velia Harmosa. And now I am going to continue the discussion about social cultural theory by Liv Vygotsky and its fundamental principles of social cultural perspective of learning. And now, let us discuss the fundamental principle of social cultural perspectives of learning. So, there are three fundamental concepts that define social cultural theory. So, the first one is social interaction. 
which it plays an important role in the learning. So, kaya, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, paulit-ulit kong sinasabi na ang social interaction ay isa sa mga uh, importanteng bagay dahil sa pamamagitan nito ay marami tayong nalilinang o mas nalilinang ang ating kaalaman bilang isang individual. And the two is the language. It is an essential tool in the learning process. Diba? Ang ating wikang sinasalita o lingwaheng ating ginagamit, language, ito ay isa sa mga importante na gamitan ng ating kaalaman o ating pagkatuto dahil sa pamamagitan nito ay mas na e-express natin ang ating sarili sa bawat isa, ba? Diba? Kung wala ang lingwahe o wala tayong wikang ginagamit, paano tayo nakikipag-usap uh, sa kapwa natin? Paano tayo nakikipag-komunikasyon sa iba't ibang uh, tao, sa iba't ibang bansa, ba? Diba? Paano natin uh, nasasabi ang ating kaisipan, opinion o mga ninanais kung wala ang lingwaheng ating sinasalita o wikang ginagamit. Kaya ang language or wika o lingwahe ay isa sa mga importanteng bagay o kagamitan sa ating pagkatuto. Pangatlo, the third one is the zone of proximal development. An important concept in social cultural theory is known as the zone proximal development. According to Vygotsky, this is the distance between the actual development level of the learners as determined by the independent problem solving and the level of potential development as determined through problem solving under adult guidance or in collaboration with more capable peers. So, which means to say the space between what a learner can do without assistance and what a learner can do with the guidance of the adult or in a collaboration with or more capable peers. So, sinasabi na ang zone proximal development, ito yung mga, uh, ito yung nagle-level ng karunungan ng isang bata. Kung paano, ano ang level ng bata pag siya lamang ang natututo sa kanyang sarili o nagtuturo sa kanyang sarili na wala ang guidance ng mga adult or mga mas nakakatanda. Paano niya, ah, uh, Uh, na paano niya nalili paano niya nalilinang ang kanyang kaalaman sa kanyang sariling pamamaraan at dito rin uh, na, dito rin makikita kung paano rin ang um, development ng isang bata pag may guidance ng isang adult or mga iba pang uh, kapwa o kapwa, kapwa kapwa niya or peers 